We begin with thousands of fans getting ready to descend on Detroit this weekend for a double dose of home games. Good evening to you. I'm Carolyn Clifford. Thank you so much for joining us. You know, Sunday is a big sports day in Detroit, and the city is expecting a complete fan frenzy. First out, the gate. The Detroit Tigers play the Baltimore Orioles at Comerica Park. That's at 1210. Right next door at Ford Field, the Lions take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 1 p.m. Many of you will be heading downtown, and with the crush of fans expected on Sunday, plans are already in place to help everyone have a good time. 7 News Detroit's Simon Shaykat joining us right now with a prepay parking plan and how you can avoid getting scammed. With Lions and Tigers both playing on Sunday, a lot of fans will be packing into downtown, and there's a lot to know before you go. On a major weekend in the Motor City, sports fans set to come watch both Lions and Tigers competing downtown on Sunday. It's going to be off the charts. The Tigers face the Baltimore Orioles at 12.10 p.m. at Comerica Park with gates opening at 10.30 a.m. The Lions hosting the Tampa Bay Bucks at 1 p.m. at Ford Field. Doors opening there also at 10.30 a.m. Illich Sports and Entertainment issuing an important message calling attention to plan ahead and reserve advanced parking if possible on parkwiz.com. There are a lot of apps and other things that I usually check into before I come downtown because if you're coming down for sports games and other things, concerts, parking, there's plenty of people down here. Parking is a tough deal. Multiple verified parking locations can be reserved in advance, including spots at 2501 Cass, 2955 Cass, 123 Temple Street, and 165 Sprout Street. I asked fans about their plans. You're going to come down here, you got to pay for it. I mean, you want to see the game? I mean, who cares? I guess that's how, that's how I look at it. Detroit police also say fans must be aware of parking scams to avoid becoming a victim. Advice includes knowing authorized businesses don't charge guests to park on a public street. Also, visitors should follow all street signs and obey areas with metered parking. And avoid paying unauthorized people posing as legit vendors, selling parking spots in a field. Fans I talk to already have their eye out to avoid getting burned, and that also goes for buying tickets. It's hard, but just come early. Come early, walk around, look around, come and eat, and you'll have a spot. Police also tell me for tickets, use only verified sellers, avoid wire transfer requests, and of course, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. From downtown, Simon Shaykette, 7 News Detroit.